Hi, this short video is a mock-up of a feature request I've made for the excellent pixel editing software Asprite. It's basically the ability to edit a sprite sheet in the editor, or as I'd like to call them, a sprite atlas. So let's say we have a standard image like this. We press uh, a menu option to convert this into a sprite atlas. Now the image has pretty much stayed the same but we've got this new view of a small map. The map's purpose will become clear later. The sprite atlas is still basically a standard image but the program also holds additional information. It can contain a number of rectangles. Each rectangle of the image contains a separate sprite. This in uh, games programming is often called a texture atlas. So now that this is a sprite atlas we could uh, press another menu option to add a new sprite to it. This might look something like this with width and height options and padding. Padding I'll explain later and possibly some useful presets to just speed things along a bit. Once we press OK, we have our first sprite in our sprite atlas defined. We can then use all our standard drawing tools to draw a sprite in that area of the image. With that drawn, we can choose uh, a new tool, the uh, tile placement tool, to place that tile into the map. Now that that's done, let's create a new tile of a different size. We'll make one 32 by 32. The new red selection box shows us the new tile in our sprite atlas. Uh, we could use the, um, the tile tool to select different sprites or keys to move back and forth between the sprites, something like that. Then we draw in our new sprite and again place it into the map as required. The beauty of having this map view is that you can use all the standard drawing tools on it as well as your standard image. That means I can draw on this soil of this tile texture and I can get it so it loops properly by just drawing it correctly on this view. All the pixels on this tile here will be mapped onto this tile in our sprite atlas. <coughs> so now I'll create another tile but this time with some padding. Here I'm creating one with two pixels padding. As you can see this time there's two bounding boxes. The inner one just showing the tile sprite image and this outer one showing you the area for the padding pixels. These padding pixels can be very useful for sprites that are used with a hardware accelerated engine such as an OpenGL engine. I'll show you this by example. If I create a sprite like this blue chain that's meant to loop horizontally, OpenGL will filter the pixels if this sprite is scaled. So pixels on the very edge of this image will sample the pixels next door, which are now currently transparent, and the edge of our chain will fade away slightly, which doesn't look very good. The solution to this is these extra padding pixels. We can draw extra pixels in here to ensure that the filtering works perfectly, like so. Now when OpenGL samples the pixels to the right of these pixels, it'll find the right kind of blue and it'll look correct. So I'll just place some of those down. It might be useful to have a grid option to display the indexes on the map, like this. I'm not entirely sure. Another really useful feature 
would be to be able to use selections in the Sprite Atlas to define new tiles. So if I draw a quick new sprite and hit a menu option selection to tile, it would create a new tile in place. That's the basic idea of this feature request. I have a few little extra comments though. Firstly, it would be very useful to be able to rotate and flip sprites in the map view. For example, if I wanted to work on a corner piece to make this chain go around a corner, I could draw one of these straight bits of chain downwards, like so, and then I could make a new tile in the atlas for this corner piece and draw it either here in the map or in the atlas, probably in the map view, because then we can see how it goes around the corner. My other comment is about the actual file format used to save one of these sprite atlases. Traditionally, for each sprite atlas, you save two files, one standard image file, such as a PNG, the other an XML file, describing all of these rectangles for each tile. Now, there is a package already out there that is quite commonly used for this, and it's called Texture Packer. If you could save your XML in the same format, that would be very useful for lots of people, but not essential. I hope that you can see this feature will be very useful. In its default behavior, you could easily create a standard kind of sprite sheet where all the tiles are the same size in an ordered pattern. But this gives you the flexibility to create tiles of different sizes and shapes as well as different positions on your map. Thanks for watching.